Dude, at one point I was on so many pills at once that my thing was I would wake up around 3 a.m., sleepwalk till I knocked myself out like fainting or whatever and an ambulance would come they take me to the hospital check my head do an mri cat scan realize that i'm okay the very next night same thing same time i'd knock myself out sleep while i did this for a week straight to the point where when i did it the the eighth time i fell down the stairs this time and i rebroke my elbow and wrist which was already in the cast and i told them that uh I really need an ambulance this time. They're like, every time we call an ambulance, they always give the MRI to let you know that you're A-OK. And they would send me the bill, which I found out later was $2,000 each time. So um, I was like, this time I really have to go. I got, I, it's just shit is rebroken again. And uh, that's when I hopped the wall and r- was running to the emergency room. And then this car of like skaters or whatever, or I don't know who they were, but they've recognized me They're like, but him, what the fuck are you doing? I'm like, I'm running to the emergency room because I got a broken ass up. They're like, get in the car. I was like, dude, I can't believe in your car. In my car. Let, let us take you to the bar and have a shot. I'm like, dude, I haven't drank in a year and a half. And then they're like, come on, just one shot. I'm like, no, man, you got to take. They're like, we'll take you to the emergency room if you do one shot with them. I'm like, fine, let's do a shot. Oh. So I do one shot, which turns into three or four or whatever. But then I get my x ray, thank God, because that was proof of but anyway the cops got me they checked my breath i had alcohol on it which got me baker acted again i had to go to the fucking loony bin once again was this um, was this when you were in florida like you uh went to there there was like a sports bar and then there was like a strip club and then there was like just these (laughs) weird i don't want to like say like methy looking people but like and, I and, met and, them and, that and, day. And I don't were, know. But that, they were like, Ben, we got your back. We're best friends. All this shit. Somebody filmed did. me do some ketamine that they had on the on the thing. <laughs> they posted that shit the very next day, sold it to TMZ. I and, never and, saw that. Yeah. But, but I saw you like passed out on the bed and yeah. they were like being like just creepy over your passed out body, like just looking really weird mm. and creepy. And it was like yeah. very alarming and yeah. upsetting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um yeah, dude. Oh, that was that was rough. That was all on the trip to the hospital. You did ketamine too. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I guess when they, they go to their local bar and then we go club. to the strip. Well, we went to strip club and like <laughs> bar. <laughs> get, you take me to the to the hospital. Yeah, well, hold on. <laughs> well, and uh, and we we're there. We we're at the strip club at like high noon. So there was like nothing there was the B team <laughs> the B team was there exactly yeah, yeah. Did you, you did ketamine at the strip club no when we went back to one of their houses before the hospital yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wow. And, 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 and the dude was living with his dad who was like a preacher at a church and he was just fed up that we were there and like midday just still party and he, he, he was trying to kick us out but then the kid was saying that uh, it's my house and it's in my name so if you want to leave dad you can it, it was a it's big a fucking thing. disaster you're mess. in the k-hole just like oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's just blasting all kind of money bag yo rap music and shit his dad's dad, trying I to remember find- that I remember <laughs> yeah. there being like uh... when did you end up going to the hospital um, Four days later, somewhere <laughs> in the mix, I finally went there and got my X-ray. You know, I it, what was crazy too is that the last podcast we did with with Bam, like we couldn't put it up right away. We recorded it in like I forget if it was like May, and then it was like months later we put out this super old podcast. And in like the interim, I think all of this stuff happened. Yeah. And, you know, like where, yeah, that that would was check kinda, out. Yeah, it was kind of <laughs> counterintuitive. Like what what was being discussed on the podcast didn't really line up with yeah. the meth team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you like shopping on Amazon? I do. And good news is, Stevo's butt wipes for your butthole are available on Amazon. And if you want a real bundle of a deal, you can get Stevo's hot sauce for your butthole, plus Stevo's butthole destroyer, and Stevo's butt wipes for your butthole. It's the butthole bundle available on Amazon right now. Yeah, dude. 